you'll have a video log on it. Okay, so we really want to roll the pelvis. Let's see if we can do eight of those. So breathe while we do it. We're going to breathe and roll. Breathe and roll. So we're going to work on a lot of stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to chime in. If and you want to join in. And if his back bothers him at all, we should tell you. What yeah, of course. So I mean, the, goal, the goal here is going to be very baseball specific, and I'm trying to figure out where your strengths are, where your weakness is, and what we really need to focus on. Okay. But yeah, like, if something bugs you, you tell me about it, and there's a hundred things that we can do to remedy it. And that's the whole point. So the strength and conditioning is supposed to benefit your ability to play and make you feel good. If lifting in and of itself causes pain, then we're not doing it right. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, power clean. You know how to power clean? Probably if you showed me, I didn't remember how to do it. Okay. So you've done it before? I did cross it for like two, three years and I was like, Okay. Eleven, huh? I think so. Okay. So we're going to do real simple. We're just going to kind of warm up your back. So you know how to deadlift, right? Yeah. So if you have questions about anything, let me know. Feet underneath the bar, butt down, back flat, head up. Super light here. We got 45, 55, 65 pounds. So butt down, head up. We're just going to stand up. We're going to do straight leg deadlift. We're going to push your butt back to the squat rack. Feel the stretch to the tip of your knees and come back up. We're just warming up the back. Let's try that. Let's go for 12. Butt down, back flat, head up. Good. Okay, so we always want to pick it up with good control. So we're never going to jerk the weight up, even though I know you can. And we're never going... <laughs> no, go ahead. Yep, so butt down, back flat, head up. Good. Let's just warm them up. You're getting evaluation as we lift. Good. So what we want to do is we want to kick those hips back and come forward. Kick the hips back and come forward. We're not going to be bending at the waist. Just feel it in our hamstrings a little bit. Good. Don't have to look at me, look in here, man. We're going out of town, man. We're going out of town. So typically, like once we get the ball rolling and you kind of get the lingo down, um, we'll be able to run through stuff, you know, 15, 20 seconds, no big deal. And then we'll do like over 100 exercises. That's kind of the plan. So we're just kind of priming the core right now. We're priming that lower back to be able to take what we want to have happen. Okay, good. Put it down, pick it up. So now we're going to stretch out that lat. So putting your hand through the loop, step back, put the tension on it, take your right leg, swing it back. We're going to feel that stretch of the lat come all the way down where it inserts at the top of the hip. So that's what we're going to hold right there. So let's try that in like 10 seconds. So step back. Yeah, feel a little stretch, take that right leg and reach back. And we should feel it through here. Y'all? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So like 15, 20 seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides. Do you have any preference in music? Mine has changed over the years, so it's kind of like a, a mellow vibe. But if there's anything that you really want to listen to, we can do it. Like 80s, 90s rock. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm like an 80s baby, and I, you know, like 90s is probably one of the best eras of music, so. That's what my dad got me into when I was a kid. So switch it up. 90s rock, huh? So you're like Alice in Chains and like all that good stuff? No, it's more like Queen and like. Okay. Like it's back, like kind of more pop and more pop. Kind of yeah, so we're here now. Dead back stretch. My dad would listen to 80s on 8. <laughs> He's out of here. I know, I just, I just, I just, my little trial just ended for serious satellite radio, which really stinks, but. I think I'm just forget. I'm like, the uh, eight, 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 um, eight minute drive to school, we listen to like two, three songs a day. Yep. On the 80s on the Okay, so that's stretching our lap. Okay, so your laps are incredibly important for a baseball player, you know why? Uh. Because it causes you to decelerate. So the acceleration is really easy. But all the injuries come from your ability to slow down that moral momentum. So this big, huge muscle's got to be able to decelerate. Oh, yeah, yeah. So not only do we strengthen it, but stretch it. So we're going to do a lot of what they call parascapular strengthening, which is your scapula's your shoulder blade. And your shoulder blade is the only muscle attachment that is all, or only bony attachment that starts at your AC joint, clavicle, collarbone. You're going to learn a lot of anatomy. Posture is everything. We're just pulling straight back and then forward. That's it. We're going to do 10 on each side. So think posture, I want you to think about the muscles that we're working. So good posture, we're pulling the shoulder blade back and pinching down here. So no trap, let the trap relax, pull down and back, perfect. So it's almost like, you're seeing like that one inch punch kind of thing. Yeah. So we're pulling back, squeeze, and relax. Pull back, squeeze, and relax. Because we're gonna be benching, we're gonna be doing overhead stuff, we're gonna be squatting. We're always gonna be able to prime the joints in order to make sure that uh, we don't have any injuries. The whole plan is injury prevention. 
so it's doing underneath this, like down here? Yeah, so really what we're trying to focus on is tightening this lower area. So you have a lot of muscles underneath your trap, um, but we're also working some deeper muscles in here. Good, both sides. And then once we get the rhythm, that's so hopefully if you take like 10% of this and start applying it to your other workouts as we go forward, you're going to find that you're going to learn a lot if we continue to go forward and progress. Um, and then the lingo will get a lot easier. So yeah, overhand, just pulling back and squeezing. We want to think about the motion. So the quality of the rep is 10 times more important than the numbers. So if we say like 14 reps, and obviously I'm keeping an eye on you, but if the 11th rep is where the fatigue sets in, the form goes down, and there's no real benefit to those other reps. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Go. Let me get. Two more. Yeah. So, pull-ups. How many pull-ups can you do? We're gonna find out. Yeah. So, we're gonna use, no, 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 it's okay. So we're gonna put this in here. Yep. We're gonna go a little bit wider, and I want you to pull up and touch your chest to the bar if you can. So we're coming up. So don't hit the ceiling, but if you do, you know, we'll laugh at you. So how do you want to do this? So you're going to drive down to the knee and keep your knee down towards the ground. Yep. And then just grab on. No big deal. Let's see what you got. Boom. One. So a good rule would be keep driving that knee down, and if you want, you can use this shin to kind of keep it there. What? So if you're like this. You're kind of rope? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, come on. Just try it. Figure it out, man. Good. Boom. Good. We're going to try to go six. Come on. Up. Yeah, no way. Come on. Two. Good. Let it stretch it. Keep going. Oh, three. Give me one more. One more. Beautiful. Okay, so so we talked about being able to decelerate, right? Yeah. So if, and again, I'm, I'm judging you now, right? So figuring out where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, mm -hmm. right? So one of which is going to be getting your back to be able to handle the load of the throw. So, for those who want to wear their keep your hips nice and straight, <laughs> cross your toes, we're gonna to come down and out to control. Let's see what this looks like, okay? That's why I will be with you every step of the way. So not only do we get a little bit of what they call rhythmic stabilization, we're gonna get a rotator cuff somewhere. So see the big difference between where you are and where I was. So keeping your hips and straight and hips in line. So straighten those out. Yep. Trust the muscles, man. Good. Let's go for 10. And breathe as you go. Good. Boom. Oh. Perfect. And it's okay to make noise, too. I encourage grunting and whatnot, because we're going to be lifting weights, man. Good. That wiggle's good, but as we progress, we're going to be able to get rid of it, because your body's going to know where it is in space. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you didn't lift today. The other day you did deadlifts, bent over rows, front squats. Back no. squats. No squats. Back squats. Oh, back squats. Okay. No pain in the back at all, right? No. Good. How's your, um, if you gave yourself a, an agility scale here, quick feet, control, stability, balance. Well, let's put it this way. What's your strongest attribute in a weight room or on the field? Like in baseball? Yeah. Like power? Power. Good. Well, we'll find out. Agility. We're going to warm up a little bit. We can sweat that one. I want to see where you're at with your ankles because we're going to do a lot of injury prevention stuff. So all we're going to do, are your feet wet? You're not going to slip, are you? No. Okay. We're going to go. We're just going to go back and forth. Keep, Keep your center of gravity <laughs> over the middle. We're going to go back and forth 12 times. With the right leg and then the left leg. So we're wrap. Good. Soft and light. Good. Nice. Perfect. No knee pain, no back pain, right? No. Good. So let's see. Feet are balanced, good control, abs are tight, posture. 
You ever, I mean, I always say linebacker stance, but you know what I mean when I say linebacker stance, like a good athletic position, or even like baseball ready stance. So you're always going to want to be in this baseball ready stance. Good control, we're going to do one at a time. We're going to use that mirror. We're going to come forward. And all I want you to do is give me 12 reps with a lat fly with good control. Athletic stance, yeah. use that mirror, man. Good. Boom. Squeeze them up. Perfect. 12 each. 12 total, so six. Yeah, we're going to move fast as we go through stuff. I'm kind of engaged where we're at, the kind of ways we can use what we should be doing. And like I said, this is kind of like our, our mini intro once we get it going. Just be boom, 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 all over the place. Perfect. Okay, what do you think? Not bad. So far, so good. Real easy. Okay, so here's where our flexibility is going to come into play. So we're going to start warming up that groin. So we're going to come out to the right, good control, and come back and bounce at the top. Come out and bounce at the top. So we're going to go eight to the right and then eight to the left. Yeah. Keep going. That mirror is your friend. That mirror gives you that biofeedback. And when you get to watch yourself in the video, you're going to be able to make those auto corrections. It's almost like watching film. So we almost want to keep that left leg straight so we get a groin stretch on the left side and that right leg through most of the work. And the arms come out as a counterbalance. Boom. Good. Try to keep your feet nice and parallel to each other. So you turn that guy out. You know, boom. Now come down, keep the weight over that leg, good control. Keep going. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at the mirror, man. You're doing good. As long as you're moving, we're happy. And we're going to figure stuff out. We're going to get going. Perfect. No back pain, right? Good. Big. You got long legs, man. Reach for it, man. This is a stretch as well as kind of a warm up as well. So our first initial workouts, we're really going to do probably half warm up and half true working out because right now we've got to make sure that everything's working in unison. See so if we can so get that. Yeah, so this time, really focus on this leg staying straight. So we're coming out, sinking in control. So all my weight is over this leg. They're parallel and I'm getting a groin stretch. Come back and then hold your balance at the top. Coming out in control and coming back, balance at the top. Exercises, single leg, a lot of rotating cuffs, single leg. So there was kind of a big difference between your right leg and your left leg on that cone out, right? I also stretched this leg the first base. Good. Two, let's go for eight. 
breathing good. Fake posture, head up, chest up, traps relaxed. Always pulling back. We want to strengthen our bodies in the best postural position. Good. Perfect. How was the ride? Two minutes, right? Literally. <laughs> That's good, because my last, my last guy, um, he lived in Southington, because I, I was the athletic trainer at Southington High School for almost, almost 10 years. So, he had a long ride. Okay. I'm a big fan of bands, okay? We're gonna put this band around your knees, and I'm gonna put the other green band on your feet. That's for you, my man. So a lot of times, guys your age, hip weakness is the biggest problem. Okay, so this is going to go on, on the top of your laces. We're going to face the mirror. Yep. So parallel shoulder width, I want to go, we're just going to do five squats to start with and then stop. Just kind of evaluate where you're at. Good. That's good. Yeah, I dig it. Nice job. Okay, that's all you can see. Now we're going to get airborne. Okay, so these bands are going to try to pull your feet together and I want that to happen. Soft and light, good control. It's going to be a quarter squat jump. So we're here. Oh, that's it. Just get up off the ground, stay in control, and we're going to heat up those hips. Good. See, I was pulling you in, so keep them parallel. Okay, we're going to go eight, good. seven, good. six, five, good. four. We keep the band on when we're done. Three, two, one. Beautiful. We're just going to walk back and forth four times. Yep. So just kind of side shuffle, keeping them heat going. Yep. Good. Perfect. So those outer hips should be burning. That's what I'm looking for. So you said you were doing one th uh, with 35s on the side, each side, correct? In what? Your, in your squat last time? You yeah, 12 reps. Okay. So we don't chase weight around here, man. The weight will come, especially at a guy your age. I'd rather have volume with more range of motion. And that way we can recruit all the muscles in the area. And I'm not a huge fan of doing the same exercise for multiple sets, especially like when you're a beginner, okay? But not that you're a beginner, but in terms of what we're going to do, we are on the tip of the iceberg. Done, four times. Okay, we'll take the green band off, but we'll keep the red band down. I got 95 pounds here, okay? So I know you know this, but ring finger, ring finger, Find that good squishy spot. We're going to step up and off, right in the middle, parallel shoulder width. We're only doing quarter squats to start with. I want to go five reps of quarter squats. Boom. Driving those knees out, staying in control. And then we're going to finish the 10 with almost like a power corner squat. Kind of like that mini jump that we just did over there. It'll be quarter squat, calf. Quarter squat, calf. So we have five super slow quarter squats. And then we're going to do five power squats with a little mini pause at that quarter spot to pop up the calf at the top. Does that make sense? You can't mess up, man. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. Good. So good control. Eyes up, head up, abs are tight. Good. Good. Perfect. Driving those knees out, staying in control. No back pain, right? No. Good. So we got five. And once we get to that sixth one, we're going to have that, that pause just for a second at that bottom. You fire up and off, come up almost caps. Good. Big power, man. Boom. Good. Power. Boom. Good. Power. Boom. Good. How many of these? Finish the 10. Good. We're going to get them calves up, my man. Rack it. Good. We take red band off. We're going to do what I call monkey pull ups. Leave it. We're good. Come on out of there. So we're going to go underhand grip, good control. <coughs> Feet are going to go up onto the bar, and let everything hang to start with. And we're pulling up, and I'll be underneath you so I don't fall. But chest of the bar, and stretch. Okay, I want range of motion. Feet are on the bar, head up, and then back down. Okay? Good control, good grip. Underhand grip, feet up on the bar, yep. Let everything stretch and hang, and then all the way up, touch your chest to the bar, good. So don't think about your head, think about touching your chest to the bar. Chest to the bar, good. Let it stretch and come all the way down, we want to feel that stretch each time. Good, five more, one. Hello. Two. Okay, no, no, that's okay. So grip is gonna be one of the big things that you're gonna first feel when we start going, because it's gonna be a lot of grip. If you need a break, you jump into the abs, if you need a break, you stretch it out. So far, so good? Yep. 
So building off that back set, good control, underhand grip, and we're going to do double taps at the top and then come full range. So butt down, back flat, head up, good control, stand up with our weight, we can go tap, tap, good posture, head up, chest up, and then let it stretch you down. Tap, tap, hold that for a half second, and then come back down and control. So think posture, think big, think lat spread, think control. Butt down, back flat, head up, don't jerk up the weight, pick it up like it weighs a million pounds, good? We get back to that bent over row position, we tap, tap, right at the bottom of that rib cage, that second one, we puff up, good. We're gonna go for six. Um, 
proper warm up and proper conditioning to be able to maintain the integrity of that bone socket joint, then your bench press will be a lot easier. If you don't warm up, you jump right into a bench press, there's going to be a lot of play. And that's where the problem lies with like your baseball players because they're going to be what they call humeral head shift because the rotator cuffs can't keep and maintain that side. Remember we were talking about like the tax, the traps, the delts? Move your arm, but the rotator cuff is responsible for keeping that ball and socket joint in its place. So this is the gray band that I have that I'll hook you up with. Let's see if I can dig up some more. I can go take some stuff from the physical therapy clinic too. Good control, back, back flat, head up. So no arch. Extend the hips, extend the back. We're coming straight back. We're good in control. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double pump the end. So pump, pump, and up. Pump, pump, and up. And you're gonna feel the tightness in that back right here. So think control, think stability. Visualize the muscles contracting and stay in control. Don't let the band ever dictate the motion. Boom, boom, good. See if you can bring it just past the midline of your body. Perfect. Good. No trap, all here. Perfect. Let's get like six of them. I usually don't have necessarily a number the first couple times because we're going to hit as many different heads, as many different areas as we possibly can. Yeah. Good. So our abs are a weak part, huh? Mm -hmm. What else would you say is a weak cut part? Good. So I have a little bit of an incline. I got two tens on it. So I just want to see where you're at and then I'll fix it. <laughs> so, okay, first off, you're a big dude. Where do you, where do you think you should put your hands? I believe you put them here. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. A variety of range of motion is very, very important. Due to the long arms, we're going to get a lot of tricep if our arms are too close together. So almost like a close grip bench press is going to work a lot of tricep. Now, as a baseball player, the distal attachment of that tricep could be an issue. Yeah. You ever heard of that before? Exactly. Okay, so we're going to spread it out. We're going to put ring finger on the ring. Ring finger on the ring. Ring finger on the ring. We want to have, initially when we first start, we want to get that 90 90 degrees. So we get more pec development as opposed to tricep development. So we'll go one, two, three, lift. And I'll help you out some more. Ready? You count. One, two, three, lift. Good. So come right out of the chest, good control, and drive it up. Good. So breathe. So breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Breathe in, breathe out, good, keep going, you're on your own, here we go, breathe in, breathe out, breathe, oh man, pull it in, make noise, do what I did, pull it in, and breathe out, I'm telling you man, when you bench press up, come on, let's go, good, your breathing will help, focus on your breathing, not on the rep, good, keep going, five more, drive, good, much better, breathe in, breathe out, good, three more, come on, breathe in, breathe out, Good. Two more. Two more. Yeah. One more. Beautiful. Go. We think. A little hard at the end. Yeah, it's okay. So failure is your friend. Humility goes a long way in the weight room. Okay. Come on up. So we're gonna get your traps up. Okay. So we've got 65 pounds here. So butt down, back flat, head up. So we always, no matter what we do, whether it's a dumbbell, whether it's a barbell, whether it's a kettlebell, whatever it is, you always pick it up with perfect control. Considering the fact that we have some back issues, right? And as fatigue continues to be a part of your workout, making sure that we're not careless when we pick up stuff. Okay, so butt down, back flat, head up. We're gonna go webbing. So we got knurling, smooth part, webbing, ring. So we'll go webbing on the beginning of the knurling. Butt down, back, flat, head up, stand up with your weight. We're going to go load, high pull, good control. Load, high pull, good control. We're going to keep it very close to the center of our chest. Try not to use momentum on this one. It may be a little bit on the heavier side from this one, but we'll see how it goes. We can adjust. So we load those hamstrings, stick the butt to the squat rack. We're coming up to the chin. Good. Breathe, brother. Boom, good, you got six more. Good, good. Symmetry is everything. That mirror is there not to see how handsome you are, but to make sure that everything's in control and we can always make the adjustments. See how this trap's working too hard? Mm -hmm. You'll notice it in the mirror. Pay attention to it. Good. So, you're not even, right? Yeah. So this arm's doing a little bit more work. That's okay, keep going. That's what the mirror's for. 
So don't look at me. Use that mirror to be able to figure out what areas you need to change and tweak and control. Okay? Good. No pain, right? No. Good. Keep going. Good. Good. Done. Okay, so we had a little bit of extra trap movement on that one. Okay, so we're going to kind of pre-fatigue the traps a little bit, kind of come back to that, and we'll come back to it in dumbbells. So not a whole heck of a lot of weight, we're going to go right in the middle of that web space. Stand up, pull the shoulder blades, pinch them, we're going to double tap the top and stretch, through the stretch, head up, neck up, good posture. So stay in control, so it's double tap at the top and come down very controlled against gravity. I don't have a rep count for you, but we're going to see what you know, we're probably looking for eight double taps. Think posture, think control, think symmetry. No elbows, just say, I don't know. Boom. Good, no elbows, you don't need the elbows. We're trying to save those elbows and those forearms for when we're It's like a shoulder shrug. Nope, that's it, it's a shrug. Yep. Working our traps, working in front of our neck. I'm gonna build you up, man. Good. What do you think? So far so good? You okay? Yeah. Alright. <coughs> we may or may not need this ball, but we'll see toes. So I might say ballerina toes, which is basically, you know, point your toes, keep everything tight, keep your quads tight. So we're coming up like this, and we're tapping. That's it. Okay? See what that looks like? If we need to get rid of the med ball, we can. If we need to drop the med ball, we can. But breathing is so important for your abs because we don't want air in your abs as we contract them. So same thing as the bench press. We breathe the air out as we contract them. We breathe in on that load. Good. Good. Breathe out. Get that touch. Good. Ten. More. Nine. Good. Eight. Perfect. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Woo! Breathe, my man. Breathe out the way up. Four. <laughs> Keep going. Three. Two. Beautiful. Done. Nice job, drop it down. Okay. Focusing on that balance. Good control. You okay? Yeah. Need water. All right. So. We're gonna go single leg deadlifts. Butt down, back flat, head up, stand up with our weight. Get on that one foot, get our balance. We're gonna go right to the tip of the knee and come back up. I want you to stare at your knee in the mirror. Good control, come back up. Knee doesn't want to turn in, knee doesn't want to turn out. Butt goes back, good control. You're gonna feel it in your quad, you're gonna feel it in your calf, you're gonna feel it a little bit in your glute, but you feel more of the stretch of the hamstring. On the start of the day, the half leg. I'm sorry, what do you mean by that? Like here? Oh yeah, right, let's go right in the middle. Yep. Butt down, back flat, head up, stand up, weight, boom, I'm going to go right leg first. Yeah, man. So this is how the deadlift plays a huge role, right? So you don't want the knee to come forward, your hips go back. So push your butt to the squat rack. Yeah, good. Think control, but don't open that hip to get away from it. Meaning keep your, keep your hips parallel to the wall. So don't open to get down, come forward like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can feel that as you go now. Good. Good. See if you can stay on that one leg, my man. All right? That's the leg on the mound, right? Yeah. Okay? See how fatigue plays a factor? So if fatigue in that calf and that leg goes down, you're Form will go down in the latter part of that six and seventh inning. And if that happens, you're susceptible to injury and you can't produce power off the mound. So being stronger than the demands of the game is going to be huge for you to be, you know, being an asset this spring. I think B White is our number one, but I don't know who our number two is. What about the North? Oh yeah, the North, yeah. Forgot, I thought he graduated. Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. He's a freak. 
<laughs> Here's the lift. Both sides? Run there. Huh? Get in there. <laughs> Symmetry, my man, symmetry. And you need to you know, regain your balance in between, that's okay. Form is everything initially, right? See how you're kind of here? 
Be big, man. Be long. Be tall. Be powerful. Be a plank. Tap the hip. Come up. Squeeze at the top. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm mean, going to use me as a blocker. Keep going. Don't smack the ground, big man. Use them hips. And breathe, man. Breathe. Good. Keep going. What you got? Oh, man. It's about six. Okay. okay. Give me one more. We'll switch. Perfect. Switch sides. So is that hips a little bit or more core? That's hips. That's IT band. That's core. I mean, that's a lot of things. And we pre-fatigued them with that control stability. Um, but that's kind of the goal. Typically, if we did this first, it would be fairly easy for them. Good. So this, a lot of the times we're strengthening that hip, which is one of his issues. Good. Beautiful. And we also get stability and control of that shoulder blade because of that position there. So side planks with movement are very good. And that's like scratching the surface. Okay. Sumo squats, range of motion is your best friend, okay? So I don't like doing the same kind of squats. We did quarter squats to start with. So sumo squat. We're going to activate a lot of that deeper inner groin. Ring finger, ring finger. Find that squishy spot on your neck. Up and off. Step it back. Open them up. Head up, butt out, chest up. Drive the knees out. We're going quarter squat sumos. But we're going to put a little speed onto this, okay? We're going to go 12 reps with good control. And then we're going to come in to our parallel shoulder width. And we're going to do a little bit of a forward bend and come back up. So I call these good mornings, but they're very short. I call them short good mornings. So just a little bit and then come forward. Okay, so we've got 12 super squats with decent speed. There are going to be four good mornings, probably only about 30 degrees of forward motion. If your back hurts, let me know. If you're not happy with it, rack it. Big posture, head up, chest up, abs tight, keep breathing. Big spread, big, 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 big. Point your toes out just a little bit. So point them out like that. Like a sumo, you know sumo wrestlers? Yeah. Yeah, okay, boom, go ahead. One, good. Try that left knee out a little bit, good. Two, keep going. Three, eyes up, head up, keep breathing, come on. Four, good, keep going. Five, we got 12, six, speed, control. Good, good. Eight, you got it, man, come on. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Feet are about shoulder width, maybe a little bit skinnier. Yep, eyes up, head up. Abs are nice and tight, pump your chest up, extend back here. And we're gonna come forward just a little bit, stick your butt back, and then stand up. Boom, good, that's it. We got three more. Good. One more. Woo! Good, right. Okay, so we got groin work. We fatigued your hips over on here, but we took them out of that exercise right there. And then our good mornings, as we're gonna build them, getting that flank to be able to stay in control. Okay. You okay? Yeah. yeah. We're here. We're gonna go one knee at a time. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go eight. Eight each. Eight total. We're gonna move on. Wrap your thumb if you have trouble. Yep. Like wrap it and then pinch. If you want, I like the fatter bar because we're focusing on your grip strength right now. If you want to use the skinny one, you can. But let's try the fat one. If you got four. Good. Alternate. All right. Yep. Good. One. Good. Two. Perfect. Three. Four. Keep going. Woo! What's what's failing? You great? Yeah. Okay. That's great. Keep going. Good. 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 Okay. If you want to take your socks off? You can because you might slide a little bit. I tend to train with no shoes on just because the whole point is injury prevention. So if we drop weights on ourselves, I'm not doing my job. So that'll never happen. So don't worry about that. Parallel shoulder width. So we kind of we're gonna build off. You're gonna find that we're gonna progress and build through these exercises, how they link together. Okay. If you have any questions about it, let me know. But we're just gonna start backward launch, come back up. So we'll go right leg, it's gonna go back. We're gonna go six in the right, six in the left. I'm gonna see what this looks like and see if we can get more complicated with it. Big long reach, man. You're big and strong, you have long legs. Good. Two, perfect. Three. Okay, before we continue, we're gonna now, because I like 
your control to put our arm into it. So how do you do with a 40 top anymore? What do you guys do? 90, 90 feet? Uh, the air tunnels. What? Probably around 6. Okay, so we'll do a lot of speed scale stuff in here as we progress. Okay, so your arm movements are so important. So as we go back, right arm will come forward, left arm will go back. So, boom. so we'll always try to focus on breaking down the elements of the run to help you work faster. Oh, man. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, so as you go back, the right arm is going to come up. Because right arm, left knee. Because you wouldn't run like this, right? Mm -hmm. So as we go back, you're here. Fingers are splayed, elbows are locked at 90 degrees, and they're close to your body. Keep going. Good. One. We'll start from scratch. We've got six. Two. Good. Three. Good. Posture. Head up. Good control. Four. Five, good, six, switch the leg, nice job. So don't overextend the arms, right? We're gonna kinda keep them in that lock 90. Keep them in that lock 90. Yo, you got long arms, man. Opposite arm, opposite leg, don't think too hard. Good. One. Woo! You go, man. Two, good, posture, head up, control. Don't worry about it, keep going, that's right here. Three, keep going, keep going. Four, long reach, man, you got that long legs, let's go. Five, six, seven, one more. Good, perfect. Okay, we're going back to our monkey pull-ups. How's your grip? Feel okay? Man, what's that mean? 50%, 60%? You're going to hold on? Sure. I don't like that confidence, man. Okay. Good, 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 good. Alternating row, but don't let momentum kind of rotate your body. So yeah. eyes up, head up. So we're gonna go eight total, so four each arm. Then we're gonna grab the twelves, and we're gonna go elbows wide like a T for eight more. And then we're gonna grab the tens, and we're gonna fly out, and we can put a little momentum on the tens. So you got eight each one. So the thirty-five. You control the alternate. Boom. Boom. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Watch those knees. Don't want to turn in. Six. Seven. Eight. Now drop now. Now we pick up the twelves. So we call them pronated, right? We're going nice and wide. Elbows wide, make a T. Good. We're squeezing basically the top part of our shoulder blades together. You're looking for eight. Boom. Um, Boom. Once we get eight, we pick up the tens, then we'll fly away. Let's jump. Tens. We can throw a little momentum into it as we come up, but I want us to be in control as we decelerate, right? We talked about the deceleration factor earlier, right? So fly out with power. Come back in control. Got eight. One, two, three. Good. Four. Four. Yeah. Five. Two. Six. Seven. Eight. Beautiful. Yep. Let it 
stretch you and squeeze at the top. Yeah. Get all the way to the top, stay in control. Good. You got 12, man. Good. Boom. And each arm gets to do the same amount of work, okay? Don't let one do more than the other. And use that mirror for that feedback. And fully straighten those guys out. Because when we pitch, if you leave that last couple millimeters of extension gone, that's where the tendonitis sticks up. Boom. Good. So all the way down, all the way up. Good control. Let it stretch you, man. We want to make elastic bands that are powerful, okay? We're not lifting because we want to look good in a t-shirt. We're not lifting because we want to be a meathead bodybuilder. We're lifting for explosive elastic power. That's a completely different workout. Boom. Don't forget to breathe, man. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. See how that helps you move it? Yep, here we go. Three more. One, two, come on, brother. Two. Last one, and I'll take it from you at the top. All the way down, all the way up. Good job. Woo! Feels good, right? <laughs> nice job. Keep it up, man. Okay, we pre fatigue those triceps. We strip it down a little bit. Don't worry about it. Climb, sit up. I'll do the weight, man. It's paying for it. And that's, think of it as your little rest period, okay? Because as we start to progress and you learn, like, learn everything, we go a lot faster. Which means less for us. Exactly. So I'll move all the way, man. I appreciate the help. Don't ever worry about that. That's my plan. That's my job. Okay. So, ring finger on the ring, ring finger on the ring. Boom. Okay, we pre-fatigue those triceps, right? Good control. But this time, Double tap in the chest. Remember we double tap? Yeah. So tap, tap, up in control. I want only you to focus on your breathing. I'll help you stabilize this. You go one, two, three, lift. One, two, two. Good. Tap, tap, breathe. Good. Breathe in. Tap, tap, up. Perfect. Keep going. Tap, tap, good. Tap, tap, good. Give me about an inch of that extra bench at the bottom.
Now, if you feel comfortable doing this barefoot, do you have strong toes? We'll find out. Help you with your We'll see. But when we do our calf raises, we want to have like most the meat of kind of our foot. So come back just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right there, boom. So kind of where that pinky bone is, give it an extra like centimeter. Okay. If we're doing both feet at the same time, I want you to visualize squeezing those calves as we do it. So step it off the back, boom. Foot goes up, both feet. Yo. Good control, line them up nice and even, right? So make sure that's not that right foot's turned out. See how that's turned out? We don't want it turned out. Good. Make them even, good. Now up and squeeze, boom. Good, come down for the stretch, come up and squeeze. Good. You got yeah. it. Keep going. Good. Think about those calves. Think about that line between the middle of those two heads. Squeeze it. Keep going. Pump them out. Five more. Five. Good. Four. More. Three. Good. Two. One more. Good. Step off and back. Yep. Yeah, man. What about me? Your core or on your quad, 
When you come up, open, have your eyes follow you up. We're looking for thoracic mobility and strength. Okay, well, we're going to do some 10 bars. Let's go eight on the right, eight on the left. Boom. And the whole time we're trying to open up. So I want to see your whole chest in that mirror, basically. Good. Don't forget to breathe, man. Thing is, you know, what you six three? Six one two. Okay. So, you know, having this much motor control at your age with your height is very impressive. Okay, most people that are like long and lean at 14 years old have no idea where their feet are or their, or their hands are in space. So that's good. And I'm glad you're starting early because a lot of the times that when people have like the genetic potential, they feel as though that they can do well and beat everybody else in their grade without going above and beyond. So, I know you got frustrated at a couple points, but that's okay, man, that's my job, to be able to make, push you in certain areas. And it's gonna be, you're gonna find that, 
you know, you're putting money in the bank right now. And once that spring season shows up, you get to cash that check for all the hard work and all the weird stuff and all that crazy things that we're going to do. And you're going to find that you're going to be on that mound and you're going to be able to pitch 100 times more than they were actually going to need you. And that's the whole point of lifting weights, being stronger than the demands of sport, that the sport is so easy for you that it doesn't give you the tendonitis, it doesn't give you the heel pain, it doesn't give you the back pain because it's, at that point, the game's the fun part. The practices in the off-season training, the weight training, is where you really put that hard work in. Any mm -hmm. questions, bro? No. So, when we get home, hamstring stretch, quad stretch, hip flexor stretch, break out that roller, right? We're going to roll the quad, the IT band, the upper back, right? So, questions? What are we going to put in right after this for food intake? Okay, okay, perfect. So, protein shake goes right in, jump in the shower, and then, you know, we're going to eat something else as well. Okay, what'd you have dinner? What'd you cover? I had, uh, me spinning balls with a Beautiful, perfect. Okay, so, there's that 20-30 minute window, maximum uptake in the cells. I know you probably didn't have, like, biology yet with, like, osmosis and cell permeability. Oh, it's not the same period. Okay, so right, so think about it. So right now, picture your cell, cell walls open and thirsting for your nutrients. So they're, they have a bigger opening in them right now. So we put that protein shake in right away, you take a shower, you get to relax, your body knows that it can start to repair. You roll. You roll, you can roll when you get out of the shower. So you can kind of start with like a colder shower. Cold shower will kind of get rid of any inflammation that's in, the, in your body. So cold shower to start with, and then you can kind of get into the warmer end as, at the latter part of the shower. And then when you get out, you're nice and gooey, all the blood temperature is gone, you kind of squeeze and filter all that byproduct of creating the sugars and energy, and then you get to roll everything out. Make sense? Yeah? You happy? What do you think? Tip of the iceberg, dude. Yeah, a little weird. What's that? A little weird. What do you mean by that? Like some stuff through you. Yeah, we make you look funny. That's the whole point. We can do the big, you can do the big lifts with Tyler, man. We're going to get to those lifts, but what I'm telling you is those weak point areas will be glaring. Why do you think your back hurts when you squat? Because all these other areas, this weakness, your body control just here is wiggling. So when you apply weight to that, it's not going to work. The, those areas are going to break down first. We'll get to the fun stuff, man. But we have to build you up. And I know the stuff that we're doing right now is not the sexy stuff. I get it, dude. But if I threw you to the squat rack, if I threw you to the power pins, if I threw you to the heavy deadlifts, your back's going to hurt before we get a benefit from the exercises that we're doing. And when I tell you, and I understand right now we want to do the good stuff, we want to do the cool stuff, but someone come from experience who's been doing this over a decade and has trained a lot of people, this is what you need in order to make that level. Okay? You're still super young, dude. Super young. And once we can get this stuff to move great, I'm telling you, we'll do 100 different exercises, all combined with our big core lifts. We got a lot of work to do making sure that your hips and your motor control and your brain power is there. It's a matter of time, dude. You just gotta keep working at it, dude. Weird is okay. Weird is what we need. You can't squat a ton of weight without preparing for it. You can't bench press a ton of weight without getting your shoulder blades, your back, and your upper thoracic extension. Right? He's mm -hmm. king, man. I'll help you out, dude. This is what I, I like doing this a lot. So, <laughs> you come motivated, you come happy, I will do everything I can above and beyond to make sure that we maximize every single lift that you do. Mm -hmm. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and your back feels good, Ryan? Yeah. Right. Well, that's the other thing that's key. And that's the plan. So, we get, we get a workout you know? that allows you to excel and continue. Right? If you walk out of here with back pain, I didn't do my job.